I think that I would like validation for my gender identity. Here are some pictures of me. My pronouns are it and they. I enjoy looking like a clown. I kind of view myself as a doll. I don't abide by gender. I'm built different. Hi, my name is Brian. I identify as a logger and my pronouns are he, him, and his. <laughs> or, or I guess I should be up more updated. Hi, my name is uh, um, Jaffe the giraffe and um, I identify as a giraffe and my pronouns are uh, they, it, and sometimes cranky or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, where did that whole movement come from? Well, you might be shocked to know that um, one of the sources, one of the things that was actually talking about this in the past, was a new version. The Today's New International Version, TNIV. You can see right down there. I'm going to read this here. It says, um, this is the forward. It's quite forward. It says, I'll put this up on screen for you to see. Although a basic core of the English language remains relatively stable, many diverse and complex cultural forces continue to bring out about subtle shifts in the meaning and or connotations of even old, well-established words and phrases. Among the more pro programmatic changes in the TNIV are the removal of nearly all vocative O's and the elimination of most instances of the generic use of masculine nouns and pronouns. Relative to the second of these, the so-called singular they, their, them, huh, which has been gaining acceptance among careful writers and which has actually and which actually has a venerable place in English idiom, has been employed to fill in the vocabulary gap in generic nouns and pronouns referring to human beings. <laughs> Where an individual emphasis is deemed to be present, anyone or everyone or some other equivalent is generally used as the antecedent of such pronouns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I have a recording, an old video, I'll link it at the end, of a guy, Dr. Lawrence Dunnigan, and he heard a public speech, or not public, but a private speech by Dr. Richard Day back in the 1960s. Dr. Richard Day was an atheist. And he came out and he said, I'm going to tell you what's what we're doing to bring in this new world order, essentially. And he said about how that the language of the Bible would be changed to influence the culture. Huh. The language of the Bible? This... King James Bible, it's too old, it's too archaic. They changed this language and brought up this updated thing here. And in here, this thing is published in 2003, over 20 years ago, 21 years ago. Right there you can see, August 2003, if you're seeing it right there. Over 20 years ago. This is written here talking about the singular use of they, their, them. No, that's not good English. They, their, them is never singular. If you're sane. Let me read the next, or another paragraph down here at the bottom. This, this, I highlighted it in pink. I thought that'd be an appropriate collar. The committee has again reminded that every human effort is flawed, including this revision of the NIV. We trust, however, that many will find it an improved representation of the Word of God uh, through which they hear His call to faith in our Lord Jesus Christ and to serve service in His kingdom. We offer this version of the Bible to Him in whose name and for whose glory it has been made. Well, at the end there, you know, they're uh, basically admitting it's for Satan. <laughs> um, but every uh, time we attempt to you know, update the Bible, it's flawed. We just can't come up with a perfect Bible. So, you know, let's just uh, come out with a new Bible and then, oh, this one's flawed here. We'll come out with a new, another new Bible. This one's flawed and then we'll just, it's flawed, 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 flawed. You know, you go to a mechanic and you say, did you fix my vehicle? Well, I fixed the, you know, the warning light coming on, but now you have a weird knocking motor or knocking noise in your motor. Uh, did you fix that? Uh, next time I come back, uh, well, yeah, I fixed the knocking noise in your noise in your motor. Can't even speak here, and 
but now that you know it's kind of got a squeaking noise when the you know tires turn and do you continue going to that mechanic or do you say no i want somebody that actually is knowledgeable to give me my car back that it runs perfectly <laughs> um you can use the bible that god has used down through the centuries king james bible you don't need to rely on these modern versions that pave the way for the whole modern satanic mentally ill system of people saying my pronouns are you know they they they're them but isn't that something all this woke stuff and whatever else and here it is 20 years ago in a bible version huh rather fascinating isn't it i suggest you use the king james bible and ignore this trash here that's going to be it thank you for watching